So, Darren, this is unlike, you know, a hurricane. You can go take a wind meter and hold it up, right, and get yeah. an idea of the wind speed. But how is the Weather Service going to determine how powerful this was? They can only look at the damage. And there is a very well-thought-out scale from looking at the damage that will help us determine just how strong this is. It's called the Fujita scale. It's named after the guy who designed it. On the bottom is an EF0. In an EF0, you get 65 to 85 mile an hour winds. Tiles get blown off roofs. Now look at EF1 and watch the window. As we get here towards EF1, you see what happened there? Window gets blown off. Pieces of the roof start getting blown off in an EF1. That's 86 to 110 miles an hour winds. Now watch as this switches to EF2. And I want you to watch the roof specifically gone. From the wind, not because a tree hit it, but simply because the wind was so strong, it completely removed the roof of that house. Those are winds at 111 to 135 miles an hour. Can I show you an example from Port Orchard today? This is the one that probably stands out the most. That's somebody's home. And the roof is completely gone, and there's no sign that anything else did this. Not a tree, nothing. That was a consequence of the wind. That means likely when they go out to survey this damage, it'll probably come in at least at an EF2. Totally have to wait for the National Weather Service to get the official on this. But when they go out tomorrow, it's likely that's what they're going to do. And that is significant. We do not get a lot of those here in western Washington. If you go back over history, there are only five storms since we've started keeping track of this. Five tornadoes that have been registered and recorded as EF2 or higher. We've actually had two EF3s before. In fact, this one back in 1972 started in Portland, crossed the Columbia River, went into Vancouver, and took six lives. So these things happen. Yes, most of our tornadoes are very weak. On average, we get about two and a half, call it three, a year. They're usually zeros or ones. But today was an example that they are not all that way.